Okay, I'm back. So let me go ahead and um, get these cards out and see what the tarot deck has to say. All right, so we have our green gem, green crystal, fluorite. And then you have, um, what is this called? I forgot what it's called. It's pink, rose quartz. So you have rose quartz and fluorite. So you have pink and green. The contrast because pink is a part of red and green is a mixture of blue and yellow. Okay. Let me see where the energy is at. Queen of Cups, Scorpio. And then you have the Fool, Uranus, which is an Aquarius. So something about new, new start, new risk, new beginning, and it's spring, so it's a new season coming up. Okay. Ace of Swords, the truth. Princess of Swords, who the Queen of Swords used to be. Ooh, look at that Venus. Ooh, the Empress. The Empress. And her ruling planet is Venus. So she's Taurus and Libra. Okay. Queen of Swords, ooh, look at that, Aquarius. Prince of Swords, who the King of Swords used to be. So that would be a Gemini. The star, again, Aquarius, oh my God, look at that. And then you have Seven of Swords reversed. But you know what, Seven is still a lucky number and a divine number. And the devil reversed, yes, a Capricorn, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Empress, and also has green. All right, so this is what the Empress wanted to say, okay? Um, you have clarity. You know that the King of Swords used to be a prince. The star guides you. Um, you've dealt with uh, sneaky people before. So now you only want people that are honest, that have good intentions. And um, you know that the devil is a Capricorn, okay? So you have the Aquarius and Capricorn cards here. And the Queen of Swords is also an Aquarius. So you have Queen of Swords and the Star. They're both Aquarius. And then you have Capricorn, which is the Devil. So Aquarius, Aquarius, the Devil, and Capricorn. So why the Queen of Swords? Six of Pentacles. Why the Prince of Swords? Hair font. Why the Star? Judgment. Ooh, look at that, Scorpio. Um, why the Seven of Swords reversed? Five of Pentacles reversed. And why the Devil reversed? Three of Wands reversed. Wow. All right, so let me go ahead and um, clarify the cards that came out. Why are the Six of Pentacles? Princess of Wands, why the hair font? Prince of Pentacles, why Judgment? Nine of Swords, that needs to be reversed. Yeah, that needs to be reversed. Yeah, because no. Uh, I'm not dealing with negative energy. Nope. 
Look, I know it's negative energy, but it needs to reverse so that it actually won't happen to me. It'll happen to whoever sent that. So that's what they get. Why the Five of Pentacles reversed? Sagittarius, Temperance, and why the Three of Wands reversed? Ten of Wands reversed. Wow. So, what did the intuition want to say? Okay. Look at that. King of Swords. Oh my god, you have... You have a match here. You have the Queen and King of Swords again. Oh my god. So this is what my intuition wants to say. And this is what his intuition wants to say. Three of Swords reversed. And this is what her intuition wants to say. The moon. Oh my god. We literally have a full moon tonight. And this reading is about the full moon. And then this card came out. The moon. Pisces card. Oh my god. And I just saw the hangman too. Wow. So these are the signs that I'm seeing so far, okay? Um, Aquarius, Aquarius again, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Libra, okay? And those are the... Um, Signs I'm seeing. So let's see. Um, she, she, and she. Okay, so when I say she, all right. So yeah, she has clarity. Um, she wants to equal give and take. Um, the Queen of Wands used to be the Princess of Wands, a Leo. Um, and the King of Swords used to be. A Gemini. So she's seen as the hair front to some people. Even though she's very intuitive, but she's still seen as an external guide for others, okay. Um the principal the prince of pentacles, a Virgo will become the king of, of pentacles, the Capricorn. She's guided and she knows that she'll be judged if she doesn't um, listen to her intuition. So that's why she's doing that. So she doesn't have to worry about judgment. Her enemies want her to be stressed out, but She's in peace because she wants peace. She's dealt with um, sneaky people and she doesn't want to deal with it anymore. So she knows that if they're not honest with her, then she doesn't want anything to do with them. She'll cut them out. Um, she, she'll she be very abundant. Um, this She has a very strong connection with someone because it's the temperance and the temperance is the two of cups and the lovers combined, okay? That's a very strong connection. And she knows that when the devil is reversed, he becomes the source of positive energy. And when he when she doesn't want to wait anymore, she just moves on. Because she, because she's she's intuitive, so her intuition was to tell her when to stay and when to go, and she has released her burdens. Okay, so that's what I'm getting so far. Okay, so this is what the intuition someone is gonna say: Pisces, Libra, and um, healing. Having said that, 
I hope I helped you in some way and I will talk to you again soon.